This is Pin Sanity's Halloween Explosion, starting right meow. I can get down with sexy costumes, but keep it classy. Or you could wear all white, knock stuff out of people's hands all night, and say you're an avalanche. But they might get mad at you, and then you'll just be somebody that they used to know. Somebody! But don't get upset. Eat a pumpkin whoopie pie, have yourself an eyeball highball, and relax, man. Whatever you do, don't watch up. It's a tearjerker. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim sugar cactus. This looks fun to wear, not. I think somebody lost a game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, hey, hey there, you have something on your leg. Let me get that for you. Pumpkin cats are not impressed, but the mice have moved right in. If you're having a Halloween party, make sure to clean up the bathroom. You don't want last night's activities to scare the crap out of anyone. And nothing says come to my party more than a finger invitation. Just make sure to have plenty of finger foods on hand. And don't let anyone drink too much, or they may be paying homage to the porcelain gods all night. All it takes are some glow-in-the-dark masks and a doll head nightlight to have everyone think you're batshit crazy. Just be careful not everyone comes to your party. And keep your eyes peeled for ghosts. They've been known to overstay their visits. The zombies can also be quite annoying, but they'll enjoy the jello worms, bobbing for shrunken heads, and the brain cupcakes. You do really want to make sure to have plenty of tasty snacks, otherwise you may upset the T-Rex, and no one wants that. And he doesn't want any leafy greens or beta carotene. Some people are just stuck in the past. Sometimes I feel like my life's a comic book, but you don't own me. Maybe you just need to get away from it all. Cleanse your mind, throw some flower bombs, be with the one you love. But if the one you love is a blood-sucking vampire, be careful of the outcome. You might end up as decor. But before you brush away the cobwebs, it's time for the pins of the week. First up is the Hannibal Lecter purse. This is just so chic. Is that made from real human skin? Oh my god, that must have cost a fortune. This pumpkin owns. Very clever. I think there needs to be a brain in the middle though. Lastly, the ghost walking in the distance is such a good idea. So many possibilities. Links to all the pins are in the description of this episode. Make sure to subscribe and click on the video for a playlist of our favorite DIY Halloween costumes. There's a plenty. And make sure to have a happy Halloween. I don't know why I'm talking like that.